What's up, everybody? Welcome back to The Witcher 3 Blood and Wine. We're here with Geralt and Roche, and we're outside of Mount Crane on the Night for Hire quest still. There is also the Griffin gear here, and this is where I believe Filbert is. There was something that came up at some point. I feel like it was on a notice board that said Filbert's haunts is actually here. We have got a lot of notes on him, and I feel like it's time to walk on up in here and whoop his ass. So let's just get right to it. We got our Ursine gear looking. Look at it. It looks so badass, and we are just ready to go. So the knife for hire, it's interesting because this is actually taking us to Filbert's hideout, and it's the knife for hired quest. Ultimately, if you think about it, this Filbert stuff, it's... Is that a solitary horse up there? Eh, just a random horse walking. Oh, there's a guy on top of it. But anyways, what I'm saying, wow, this is interesting, is this is almost like, I would say it's almost like a hidden quest, but not fully. Hans base. But we've gotten so much stuff on Filbert, so it really wouldn't be a hidden quest. But in a sense, I guess it's kind of just, kind of, maybe. Anyways, Mount Crane, let's read it. Duke Roger the Reveler was, as his nickname might suggest, no teetotaler. The story of his alcohol-fueled romps number today among the most cherished of traditional Toussaint tales. His alcohol-fueled romps? They really number among the most cherished stories here? Wow. The state of perpetual tipsiness might just be what drove his decision to surround the duchy with a series of castles meant to protect Toussaint from the barbarous highlanders of Mount Gorgon? Thing is, no one has ever heard of such a folk. All right, well, let's go in and say hi to Filbert. He's got to be in here. Friends, he has to be. Hans Base, you are nearing the base of operations of an outlaw gang known as Hans. Be particularly wary and prepare for a tough fight. These bandits are well organized and when attacked, might call for help from neighboring camps. To prevent this, kill bandits running with torches towards signal fire. Your goal is to kill the Hans leader. Oh, this is sick. I'm not going to that torch. I'm, we're going to fight them all. If we just let them keep lighting the torch, right? Will endless guys just come in? Let's buff up. Because endless waves of bandits sound absolutely wonderful. What's over here first? Slow now, let's not do anything rash. I didn't do anything to you. You look like you're on your horse. Get on down. Geralt of Rivia has arrived at your haunt, sir. Should we knock him the fuck off? Get off of that horse right now! Girl, you should just finish him off, man. There's another one. When you see Filbert, tell him I'm here. Housekeeping. We got another one? Hey! How are you? Oh, shit. It's only you. You gonna circle me? Get on down! Geralt does not want to finish him off. That's fine. What's up, horse? Shall I ride you? Come here. Oh, okay. He's running. Take it easy. Let's go inside, huh? Wow, this is neat. It's We gotta stop the person that has the flame to light the fire because it brings more camps. But what if we would have took out all the rest of the camps? Whoa. He or she's kicking. But what if we would have took out all the haunts? Oh my word, look at this view. Anyways, what I'm saying is, what if we would have took out all the camps? You guys yelling? How are you? Abandoned castle mired in a dark dungeon. Dream hide out for bandits. Wow, we just fucking wrecked him. Come on. Hans, where's Filbert? 
Oh, that's right. We got heavy gear. I'm like, man, our cooldown is. What's going on here? Control snitches. It's a witcher. No. Oh. Gloved me. There's another one down. Come on, let's buff up. Well, here's a picture of Geralt. To all members of the Toussaint Merchants Guild, the Witcher Geralt of Rivia has done serious wrong to the governors of the Cooper's Guild. As a person harmful to our interest, he has forfeited all right to discounts, rebates, and special offers. In truth, he deserves a full boycott, yet since coin remains coin, if you must serve him, at least let him feel how much it hurts to cross our guild. Make him weep as he opens his pouch? What the fuck is this? Wait. Friends, what is that? We're gonna have to pay for more, more, uh... When we go to merchant stuff, we're gonna have to pay for more and they're gonna buy stuff for less, possibly? Do we go up there? They're yelling about, huh? Well, if we were worried about money before, I think we're gonna hit the jackpot here. Oh my. Wow. But what is that about, though? Geralt has to pay more money? When he goes to stuff? Interesting. I wonder what calls that, An illusion. huh? An illusion? What are you hiding? Geralt, where's the illusion? Oh, right here! There's something here. Let's go ahead and use the, eye. use the eye, huh? Maybe we should go and take out the haunts first, yeah? Because what if Filbert's down there behind the illusion? Just hiding. But I guarantee this is where the Witcher gear is. Let's get our torch out. Shit. Hey, Filbert. Actually, let's get our torch. Let's. No. That illusion's there in the beginning. We will remember where it is. Let's go up and take these guys out. Let's knock them out first. Come on. Let's ride. Let's jump. Take you for a ride. I'm gonna take you for a ride on the wild side, pal. Wow, Geralt. Holy shit. I forgot how rough heavy armor is compared to all the other ones. Since I can't really use uh, my signs that quick. Oh my explosion body. Hold on, let's make this easier on ourselves and use lizard. Get some more of this. We're gonna throw some bombs, huh? What should we throw? Dancing star. Damn. You feel like a slug, Geralt. Come on. There we go. Easy peasy. Man. Come on, where's Filbert? You seen him? Magic. We need to get our repose game up here. Dead and done. Oh, yes. Okay, I'm rusty. I'm really rusty with uh, anything that's not medium gear. For sure. Wow. I wonder, though, how much tougher we could have made this game if we would have just went with heavy stuff, though. Maybe the signs carried me, huh? Maybe. I do need to get my repose game up, though. I think the repose stuff 
and more of a combat base is always tailored towards the heavy and light a little bit. Maybe. I guess you it, the light, you could get away with using signs pretty quick too, to be honest. Since your stamina regeneration. But ultimately, I think the main thing with heavy stuff, you kind of just want to keep up your shield. That's pretty much all you can do, huh? I mean, you can take your potions. Hey, Filbert, are you here? This motherfucking Filbert might not be here. Are you guys roasting chicken? Well, this is where Filbert, the thing he's telling us to go. But let's go this way. Let's go the wrong way, huh? What if Filbert is down by the illusion? Wait. You know what would be funny, though? I'm going to have to try it. We got to try it. What if we go in here and we burn the stuff? Makes sense? Oh, we're fucking over encumbered. Get out of here. No way. Wow. Uh, it's up there. Hmm. Well, I'm just going to drop some stuff then, perhaps, for now. I'll come back and get it. Just drop all these swords right here. Hopefully they stay in a big pile. Oh, the swords went away. I dropped all the gear and it went away. No. Or maybe it didn't go away. Maybe it's up top. It's definitely here. You can see it on the mini-map. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Put that fire out. Wait. Holy moly! Come on up. <laughs> Come on, let's light it again. Wow. Fighting on the stairs. <laughs> Gerald here. Runs. Did I loot any of this stuff? <laughs> what the hell? That was great. But where's the loot that I dropped? Where did it go? It just like... Look, we did so much damage, it's still... <laughs> this shit is still coming in. Wait. Oh, there's Filbert over there, probably. Look at him. Maybe. Alright, well, I'll come back to this loot. Later. You guys don't need to light the torch, I'll light it for you. Is there more people down here? Oh, dogs are having fun down there. Darn, we dropped so much swords that we could have used. That's unfortunate, but it's okay. I didn't think... Well, it's obvious I have three armors on me now. Three Witcher gear armors on me. So... We're going to get really over encumbered. We'll probably have to pick two. I don't know if we're going to be able to keep um, all three on us. Because we have a lot of exploring left still. And this whole time, I've never dropped loot. That's the first time I've ever dropped loot. But hopefully we can get it somewhere over there. It didn't look like it was anywhere over there, though. Best way to deal with these guys. Oh, shit. Oh, come on. Brendan. Sir, you are kind of a beast. Not no more. Haunts here, friends. What's out here? Nothing. Oh, no, you didn't. You're not gonna let us in? Come on, really? That's messed up, man. Are you serious? Wow. That is so jacked up. 
Wait, what is this? Somewhere we didn't go? Okay, cool. Philby Four Fingers, where are you? Oh, we got to fight the dogs now. Have we went up here? Hey, what's this? What if we light it again? You can probably only light it once, huh? Pink armor die. Let's go say hi to the dogs. What's up, doggos? I like that silver. I think it's steel, Geralt. But it works. I feel bad for the dogs that we have to kill the dogs. All right, what's what's our inventory looking like? 135. That's still really good. We're good. We have a shit ton of shit over there. This is the way we were going, yeah. And up here. Well, this has to be the end point, though. I could imagine. All signs are leading to here. Oh, that's where we went out. Let's not do that. This guy is up here cheering. Hey, go hey. Your beer. How did you, get away? you want some fire? Never mind. I can't get it. Another one down. Friends, what if Filbert's not here? I think I'm going to cry if he's not here. No? Nothing? Oh, shit. Let's go... Oh, there's a way up here. Okay. There's a ladder here. And then that's the very top. That's the fortress. But what do we do at the top here? Oh, no My crime for me! How I enjoy your good mug butching! My What's up, Phil? Come on, come closer. Prepare to be thoroughly flabberdacked! You're gonna get flabberdacked? Four... Fingers, Philbert the Flabbergacker, whatever the hell he said. Come on, Philb. How should we kill him? Should we knock him off? Nah, that's too easy. Get out of here, Philby. Come on. Oh, Philbert, you're not even gonna hit me. Wow, Phil, he's actually pretty good. He reposes the... The rend. Good on you, Four Fingers. Nope. Come on, Phil. Don't you go dying with bleeding damage. Neither are you, Phil. Oh, you hit me, Filbert. I knew it was going to happen. Die by poison. Damn, Phil. I wanted to, I wanted to uh, cut you in half, sir. Wow, he has uh, he has a torch and Florence. Well, thank you, Filbert. Nice dueling with you. It's funny because they had a, a, a like a wanted sign basically in Geralt of of Geralt in here. That's so wild with this merchant skill thingy. We'll see you later, Phil. But look at all the blood. I'm thinking that we can't we we weren't able to like cut him in half, get the kill cam, the kill cams. All right, well that would be that. What has it got us doing? Um, well, it's got us doing it. something here. Oh, shit. Maybe not that. Let's actually read this, because it might be this. Journal bound in worn leather, Toussaint Knight's trousers, and Toussaint Knight's boots. I am Filbert Von Witten. 
My crest, a rook, my father, the famed Sir Gruber Palecheeks, Von Witten. Today I was smeared by an insult which only blood can wipe clean. Rage burns my entrails. Writing this is the only way I know to calm the flames. When I am an old man and read these notes, I believe a certain Maximus Nanius Marcimus will be long dead. A pitiful memory for now. However he lives, why do I write about this? A few days ago, I challenged him to a duel to the death. He had been drooling over my Lucine, and I could not bear it. He proved to be a better swordsman than I, but that is not the worst. A lost finger is nothing compared to a lost honor. Maximus defeated me, yet instead of killing me, he spared my life. Never shall I forget the faces of the man who turned their eyes from me then. I know I shall never know peace until I have dealt with him. A dozen or so blank pages. I have found the journal which was given by my father several years ago during the time since I last held it. Much has occurred in my life. I have fled Toussaint and sought my fortune in various places. With varied success, the worst, however, is that my hand has yet to grasp Maximus' throat. I know it is only a matter of time. Sir, you got beat fair and square, and you are such a sore loser that you had to come back and keep trying to kill this guy. This woman that you like, you prob she probably didn't even like you. It was probably his woman anyway. It was probably Maximus' woman. I have decided to return to that hound botch duchy. We have pitched camp on Mount Crane. I've carefully selected a band of men who will not flee from any task, any foe. The Toussaint which once forced me to run will now repay me in full. The highest price, however, shall be paid by Maximus Nanius Marcus. When I get my hands on him, he will dream of one thing, death. I've got the Harlot's Brood. He's lording it up at the Castle Diasa estate. He was given it by the sodden Tart Anrietta. Seems Duke Raymond's been dead for a few years. Tomorrow my lads will pay him a visit. I shan't go with them, however, the very thought of having to see his maggoty face again makes me ill. Farewell Maximus, I have signed your death warrant. You didn't go and kill him yourself? What a fucking pleb. I'm delighted. Maximus and all his family now rot. Their stench is a delight to stray mutts. Whenever I close my eyes, I see them perish, see them scream, moan, and grovel. That makes my dinger stand firmer than even the curviest harlot could. I am at last satisfied. Well, maybe he did have a hand in it then? Possibly? Friend, you got fucking wrecked. You got what you deserved. So, what's going on here? Is this quest bugged? Because... It's on the map here. Like it's something, but... There's kind of nothing. What the hell's going on here? Hmm. Oh, just walk, you just walk on off. That's so cool. Way to go, man. Hey, don't take all my loot that I dropped over there, because I can't pick it up right now. Just leave it there for, for now, alright? I'll come back and get it later. You think they're going to take it? Don't crowd around. Oh, you fucking took my loot, didn't you? Oh, you didn't take my loot. Look at it on the map. It's looking good. You destroyed A. Hey, I didn't see that. You destroyed a Han space. Probably liberate the area. Wow, there is a merchant here too. 
Very cool. Master Witcher, I might I have a moment, they please? Me to you sure the hell can, because I need you to buy all my armor and stuff that I got. How you doing? Unbeatable Barkins. Preferential financing from the Chanfanellis on every armor purchase. Don't mind this poster here, sir. Most honored Witcher, the slaughter of Filbert Fourfingers von Witten. Quite the feat. You've my respect and gratitude forever and always. He'd squatted in those ruins for months, him and that hunts of his. Whoever they captured alive lived to regret not having been cleaved in battle. Managed to assemble a pretty good bunch of men. Refuse from all the world. Bandits, degenerates, drawn like flies to doo-doo. It's good you fell them to a man. You've my gratitude, and good prices for all time here. Pretty well armed, those bandits. They were pretty well armed, yeah? Seems the Hansa was prepared for a long siege. Oh, yes. The rats had woven quite the nest. Some knights errant took swipes at them, but cracked their claws on those ruins. Not surprised. Von Witten turned that rubble into a fortress. With a ballista in the lower courtyard, no less. Well, that machine was most like there to fight off the winged lissets. A whole host live in these hills. Alert eye on the sky at all times, Witcher. Show me what you got, sir. Your goods. Mind if I have a glance? Are you gonna pay- Oh, wow, he's got ten? Good. What does he actually have? You have any of that green stuff for crafting? No? I don't think he does. The acid shit? Alright, well let me sell all this stuff off. Thanks. Farewell. Good luck on your path. Take it easy, sir. Have a good one. I got the rest of the armor. I sold everything off. The armor that I dropped, I can't I get it. It's pro I think it's stuck in the wall somewhere. It. Possibly. It's just unreachable. It's either stuck in the wall or it might have... Went down here, possibly? Shit! That was not the torch. Geralt, you okay? That was pretty bad, sir. I think you'll be okay. We don't need a torch, I guess. We'll just burn our armor. <laughs> Alright, hold on. Since the Hans is done, that was great. That was really cool. I'm happy we killed Filbert. He deserved it, the son of a bitch. He just did not like Markinus that much, huh? Because Markinus beat him fair and square in a duel. But what was this thing about Markinus and his girl? Was it Markinus? No, because if it was Markinus's woman, that lady, then he probably wouldn't have killed her. You know what I'm saying? What was that? Power crystal? A power crystal. Pink armor die? What was that note? Oh, was this one of them notes? Wow, friends, look at the pictures here. There's a picture of a baby out there. See it? What is the... Oh, that's where the power crystal probably goes. NJ and NL? Wait, but... I feel like we've already read that before. If we didn't, we'll obviously... See, Gnomish prankings. Yeah, we definitely read N Shane and L. We definitely read Gnomish prankings. Well, we definitely found some kind of laboratory here in Mount Crane, but it's some kind of medic, possibly? Someone interested in human anatomy? Probably? Maybe? Hey. Let me in. Filbert, you had all this interesting stuff down here and you probably didn't even know. You fucking schmuck. Moreau's journal? All these books we already read. Wait, this is Moreau's stuff again? 12 September 1121. I've received confirmation Jerome has arrived and is staying at Fort... You, sir. I am so giddily with anticipation, I cannot continue my work, yet I must try to calm myself and see through my plan. 13 September 1121. 
He arrived quite unexpectedly, right after dusk. He has changed a great deal. He is thin, weary, all covered in scars. He was, of course, furious I brought him here under false pretext. But what choice did I have? One day he will be a father himself and then he will understand what drives me. I opened a portal in my study and brought Jerome to my lab. In doing so, I exhausted my activation crystal, but luckily I have a spare. I gave the lad some time to think things over, for I'd rather do all this with his willing participation. Meanwhile, I shall prepare the apparatus. Moreau. So Are the you Witcher was taken somewhere via portal. Moreau was doing his research on the Griffin School Witcher. Wow. Get out. You mother effer, Moreau. Here, have a power crystal. How to activate the portal. And a punch. See where it drops me. See where it drops you? Oh, great. It's not fire. Gotta be hard. I hate portals. You sure do. Gollum! Come on, Gollum. Wait, what did... The trap didn't come down? Oh, we can't use heavy attacks. That's fine. Light attack. Really destroying him. That's better. Moro kept Jerome here. Need to look around. Let's look at the the journal though. Master, Grandmaster Griffin School. Our tale of diagrams for the Grandmaster level gear of the school of the Griffin is a sad one, but so be it. As not all tales need be happy, if you are curious to read on, you should start by knowing that it began long ago when a certain witcher was summoned to Fort Usher. You, sir? Probably. I'm thinking that we should pop a cat potion here because I want to use heavy attacks if we have to. There we go. Wait. Something up here? No? So Jerome was being studied. I wonder if he did it willingly though. He was kind of pissed because he was here under false pro- Oh shit, it's right here. There's nothing more. Wow. Well, we got stuff here. We have things here. There's another illusion. Grandmaster Griffin armor. Let's not get the illusion yet. Grandmaster Griffin trousers. Florence. What's up here? Dull meteorite axe. Grandmaster Griffin silver sword. I thought that was a note. Hmm. Back of the diagram, Jerome made a note. Oh shit! Paralyzing spell is worn off, but portal still inactive, meaning I'm still stuck here. Too bad I left most of my stuff back at Fort User. Without my gear, I stand no chance of escaping. Think I'm going to die in this place. You took my swords, took everything that could be used as a weapon, even got to write this letter on the back of a diagram. Before I die, I want to tell you one thing. You're a madman and always have been a cruel, cold-blooded murderer. I haven't felt anything for you for a long time, anything but hate. I'm done with you and I hope you pay for your crimes one day, Jerome. What? Moreau eventually came to terms with his son being a witcher. Came to terms, my ass. You really think he came to terms with his son being the Witcher? He still tried. Let me in. Open sesame. Geralt, what do we have here, my friend? 
Somewhere's to jump, obviously. Should we jump? Wow. Wait. Oh, you mother effer, here it is. Friends. This is the cave. It sure the hell is. I knew it was an illusion. I fucking knew it. And here it is. Wow. Well, all right then. We have some more time. Let's go start another quest, huh? That was super interesting. Let me, uh... I'm gonna meditate. We're gonna lose our buffs, which is fine. No biggie. I'm thinking... Hold on. Let's see. What do we do next? I'm thinking we go back over... I need to go sell some more stuff off, obviously. Like I said, the ha carrying three armors on us is not really... It's not really a good idea. I'm gonna finish this episode off with this gear, but I think with this playthrough alone, I'm gonna stick with medium armor, so we'll keep switching between wolf and manticore for now. I think we're gonna go, in our next time we play, probably a more heavy or light style. Just depends what, I don't know, just depends what we're doing. We'll probably switch between cat and ursine and stay away from medium in our next time we play. But let's go to... We'll do Wine Wars Caronata here, and that's the last one. So we'll head over by the trading post here and just, uh, just knock this one out. Ah, Witcher! Welcome back! On the way over to the Wine War stuff, I came over here to check on this guy, and it looks like he actually does have something. Like better? It's healing nicely, but there will be a scar. Good. Something to impress the ladies with. I prefer to impress them with my charm, intellect, and manners. Yeah. Good luck with that. You can really impress them with the leg, Maybe though. we could do some trading. Wow, so this is this- whoa! This is a wine merchant, but he has all types of- look, he has a potion of clearance. Potion of restoration. We could probably use that and get them two ability points back. Let's not, though. I think we're fine. And he's got alchemy stuff. I'm off. See you later. This is the wine merchant that told us to come back in two days. Remember I marked it? I figured to come over here and see if he actually has something. Well, he did. A little bit of dialogue, but that being said, sure, why not? All right, well, let's head over to here. Let's head over and start wine wars again. Thinking about the last quest, it makes me wonder, the griffin gear, it makes me wonder if Moreau's son was actually in the griffin school. He probably was, but then the way that Codex or right up was saying it almost made me feel like Jerome was his son. I'm pretty sure that wasn't his son We have an entrance here that came up. Let's go over here first Because this is the wine wars. It might actually lead us to this cave entrance that we got here It's like right on the map next to us Yeah, it does make me wonder I'm guessing that his son was part of a person in distress. Well, wow. I'm guessing he was part of the Another entrance? The school of the Griffin. Help, hey sir, save hey guys. me! How are you? Hey! You killed him! You son of a dragon! Right in front of the lady. How's that feel? Completely missed. Hey. You ever seen that shit before, ma'am? Thank you, noble knight. I'd ventured north in search of herbs for a new flavored wine. When suddenly... Calm down. It's over. The bang did less kidnapped me. In hopes of collecting a ransom, I'm sure. But with Master Liam's troubles, 
He never could have paid them. Ah, but I'm free and safe, thanks to you. <laughs> Should you need any helps, I've a hearty stock at the Coronata. Will you work me there? Got something else to do here? Ah, oh, shit, I do. I gotta loot. I'll walk you there, though. Lead the way. Right behind you. Can easily just come back here and loot. She'll probably die if we don't get her there. I mean, there's centipedes, there's shalmars, there's vampires everywhere, bandits, you name it. Here we are. Once again, I thank you for the rescue. Wish to look over my stock? Oh yeah, you see my gloves? They look awesome, don't they? Vineyard seems a bit run down. It does, but we'll work on that possibly for him, huh? Master Liam doesn't seem a diligent proprietor. He tries as best he can. It's not his fault our vineyard suffered plague upon plague. Plagues? What kind? Well, the enormous yellow man-eating sun juice, for instance. You cannot set foot into the brush for fear of coming out a head shorter. Show me what you got. She's gonna give us a hug. You gonna give us a hug? Perfume, baby! Alright, take it easy. Have a good one. Thanks. See you later. I'm happy she survived. It was good that we walked her. Without investigating Vermento's problems, let Liam take over Belgard or continue investigating and deal with Matilda's problems? Let's definitely do that. Liam, you're not taking over yet, man. Not until I get the full uh. story here. Where were we at? How far are we from? We were over here. Let's head back over here and then possibly start knocking out Grandmaster Feline and Night for Hire over here, baby. Well, we made it back to the cave here, but let's check out this one first because this is the one that we fell into and saved her, yeah? Let's check out this one first, though. Unless we can't get into this one. Oh, we definitely can. What's that? Blood Moss. Carol. Wow, that was a... That was gonna be a far drop, huh? Oh, this is all the loot then. I think. Exquisite honey. Dirty leather. I'll be short and to the point, you're to grab Liam's herbalist and keep him from finishing production of that new wine. Leave the girl alone till I send more orders. Don't mess this up, you bum brain beetroot V. See? Vermento or V. I feel like it's the person's name and they're trying to play it like it's Vermento. Maybe. Without investigating Vermento's problems, let Liam take over Belgard or continue investigating and deal with... We gotta keep investigating. Is this where we came in at? Yeah. Well, kind of. Yeah, but there was another area over here, right? That we could have dropped down. But if we drop down this area, you know, you getting out of that? Hold on. Oh, there was nothing down here. Just some mushrooms. I don't think he's getting back up. He most definitely is getting back up. Well, this place is done. We'll head over to the last... Well, not the last. We'll head over to another night for hire. And then start getting that on. And that's where we get the... We got all the Griffin School gear. Let me look at the journal, though. Do we have all the Griffin School? Spontaneous Prophets? 
Oh, that's the mysterious spoon. We can't until we do the, um... The Gwent quest. Scavenger hunt, feline. That's all we got, and we got three of it already. Where are we at exactly? Alright, so up here, we'll knock out this. Knife for hire, and then the cat. Man, that's gonna give us all the Witcher gear, huh? And then we just go about crafting it whenever we can. It's gonna be a lot of crafting, though. Trading post? Wait, did we already do this? Oh, yeah, we did. This is where the... The last uh, Basilisk was, yeah? Hold on. Completely going the wrong way. Oh, it's because it's Wine Wars that it's on. Go back to Liam, though? You think it's wise to just go and give it to him? We don't know for sure. What if he's behind it, though? That would be fool. Fool handy, whatever it's fool's... I don't even know what the word is, but that would be foolish, for one, I think, to just go back to him. It's too early. Uh, hey, what are you doing, Tiddlywinks? Is that what he called me? This shall drag on too long. Get over here. You fell right on your ass. Was there no signpost over here? What's up, Roach? Have fun out here now. Alright, let's go in. Maybe it's another place we can take. Kinda. Like the big, uh... Like the fort we just took. That was so cool. Wow. Must be Delaney's residence. Delaney? Knife for hire, obviously. Grandmaster Feline. Go to... Bartolome de Lane's house. Maybe we should read that one, yeah? Treasure hunt feline. While searching for diagrams that would let him craft Grandmaster level gear for the school of the cat, Harold happened on a tale that looked to be headed towards a tragic ending. The adventure began with the Witcher's afternoon visit to the estate of a certain armor. Friend, are you okay over here though? You still live here because it's probably abandoned and haunted. Person in distress. The White Terror, remember? Gotta find a way inside. Let me in. Knock, knock. Oh, we can actually see inside. We gotta find a way inside. Easy peasy. Let's just jump this mother effer. You wanna jump it, girl? Can you jump it? No? It's gotta be something. Something broke down. Area. Or this. That we can just jump and get in there. Yeah, it's definitely this. Yep, yep. Let me in. <laughs> hey, what's up, guys? How are you? Don't pull your torch out. Hold on. I want to do Northern Wind. Let's get some distance. Oh, yeah. Look at these motherfuckers. You'll never learn. Good hit. Bunch of corpses. No, they're a wind, though. My soul cannot handle this. It simply cannot. Oh, it wounds. Calm down. It's over. I thank you, sir. And you must forgive me my momentary loss of composure. Are you in need of accoutrements, monsieur? Sure, I guess. What are you dealing? Mind show me your wares? What are you doing here? Fellow looks abandoned. You its owner? More its temporary steward. By order of the treasury minister, I am to serve as caretaker of Count Deloni's properties and estates. The Count is missing. Yet... No one at the palace warned me. Villa Fede is the lair of bandits. That is to say, it was, but is no more. Thanks to your heroism, Monsieur Witcher. What do you got? What do you have that you're willing to sell? 
I love them glasses. Oh, sir, you ain't got shit. Nothing. Toodles. Have a good one. Thanks. So long. Clerk. Well, there we go. We saved the clerk, friends. We're gonna get over encumbered here. Key to the villa and orders for Reuben. Reuben, some quill pusher from her Greece the Dung Cuesa's court, has been sniffing around Villa Vedette. Don't reckon I need to explain why I don't like it, nor how much. You're to find this clerk and kill him. Burn the building, anyone in there with him. The noose, no raping, no impaling, keep it simple. Then head back to the Artach ruins, quick, because I've got another job for you, a Stragon. Dragon? Is that another one that we might be able to find? Dragon? Possibly. Alright, well, let's look around. This is the night for hires done here. We're 6 of 15. We're making progress on this stuff. I actually really do enjoy the night for hire. We're gonna mark the cat gear here. The feline. See what we can find. Gotta be in here. Wow, it really is in there. Friend, you were cooking pretty... You still got some good food going on in here. Did you realize that you had cat gear right here? Letter to Bartholomew de Lone. Feline armor. Dear Bartholomew, I have received your letter and I am delighted you have found a solution to your problems. The Witcher you described does indeed seem dangerous, and you yourself always told me there are freaks and cold-hearted murderers. Yet, despite all that, I still think you should agree to his offer if those diagrams truly do outline revolutionary new methods in armor smithing. Not only will you be able to complete the contract her grace has given you, but you will also earn a great deal of glory for yourself. And that I know is what you value above all else. Going to the bandits who dwell in the ruins of Artach Palace for protection is a wise move. If the knights could not get the best of them, a witcher will also feel duly cowed in their presence. Shady miscreants of all types always respect each other. Still be extra careful during that meeting, bandits and witchers are not to be trusted. Yours truly, Belinda Delone. Another tale of a life compromised and ultimately claimed by greed and ambition. You ain't lying, girl. It just happens non-stop, huh? It kind of just don't end, friend. It really doesn't. What's this map? It's a map of the, uh... The world of the Witcher. Is that flowers? Yeah, it's flowers. Painted on the wall. You gonna eat that cucumber, girl? Just for you. Alright, well, there, we are four of six. Explore the ruins of Artach Palace. This isn't Artach Palace, though. Where's Artach Palace? Oh, hello. We have continuation. This is what I love. Alright, well, let's see. Let's jump into the journal, then. Oh, what is this? Wow. That's rough, man. Holy moly. Let's look at the journal. Do we have any more... Hold on. I don't believe we have any more books. Hold on, let me see. So we still can't read that. We have no more books. We should still have bestiary though, huh? Elementa? Really? Morose Gullum? Dimeridian Elemental Oil. Long years of solitary study tend to make mages somewhat eccentric. As the years pass, lay people begin to irritate them more and more. They are dense, unreliable, disobedient, and determined not to understand the gravity of mages' work. They display emotion when they should show discipline and self-mastery. No wonder mages have long considered the best companions to be artificial constructs they themselves bring to life and design to follow the rules and meet their needs. 
Professor Moreau was no exception in this regard. His Gullum was his dutiful servant and companion in good times and bad. Moreau's Gullum was also an excellent guardian, massive, unyielding, and devilishly strong. All in all, he was a tough nut for the Witcher to crack. Are you serious? He was a wimp, Gollum. These elementals, or just regular Gollums that we faced along the way, were stronger than him. Vampires, I want to read Photo Flutters. Vampire, black blood. Look how badass they look, though. Never seen a vampire like that in my life. Geralt of Rivia, Witcher. Wow, maybe he says that. He probably says it when we find one. We're gonna find one! Photo Flutters are relatives of Flutters which came from the world of the higher vampires to our own during the conjunction of spheres. The members of this species are characterized by their considerable strength and agility as well as the strange glow they emit. They have like this pinkish glow to them. Maybe it's an aura, huh? A trait most tied to their otherworldly nature. Photo flutters have never been. Photo flutters have never had significant contact with the outside world, having spent their entire time on our planet in the Unseen Elder's Cave, whose atmosphere is very similar to that of their home world. What the hell is an Unseen Elder? Having spent their entire time on our planet in the Unseen Elder's Cave? Interesting, maybe that's something we have to find. Or something we'll stumble into. Like a quest. Maybe these have a quest to them. Really cool. We only have two more left, friends. I want to save some more codexes. No, let's just read them. Let's read them now. Vampire Oil Black Blood. The deceased corpse was completely mutilated. All that remained of the nose was a hole clotted with blood. One eye socketed had been chewed beyond all recognition. The mandible had been torn off. Seeing this, Sergeant DeVate vomited profusely and administration of smelling salts was required. The investigation has been discontinued and the deed attributed to a supernatural being. Fragment of a Toussaint de Kelgar report. Flutters are classified as lesser vampires, though weaker than the rest of their ilk in every aspect from the Sayo magic to the Sayo gnomic. They should not be underestimated, for they are very, very dangerous. Flutters cannot be mistaken for any other creature. With their wide, toothy jaws, flat, unpleasant faces, and completely hairless, often warty bodies. These vampires mainly fight with their teeth and claws, flailing them blindly and not stopping even when their victim is already dead. Even a solitary flutter is strong enough to take down a trained soldier. Compared to the other vampires, flutters display meager intelligence. Seen most clearly in the mindless rage which causes them to try with all their might to attack and tear to shreds any weaker being. When fighting flutters, it is best to take advantage of their particular method of movement. These creatures do not run, but they do try to catch their prey and knock it over by leaping. So just watch their movements, yeah? And then Garcanes, this is the last one. Moon Dust. Sanum, Vampire Oil, and of course, Black Blood. Blood on the ceiling, guts on the wall, must be a Garcane. Jan of Lan Exeter, Investigator, and Captain of the City Watch. Garcanes, like Flutters, belong to the class of particularly dangerous vampires, whose strength exceeds even that of fiends. An encounter with one of their number almost always ends in death which is why there is not many eyewitnesses accounts of them. From the city guard reports written up in Land Exeter, describing the attacks committed in the city in 1104 by three Garkins, later killed by a certain Oliver of Gullet, Witcher. It seems these horrible monsters do not content themselves with drinking blood of their victims. The investigators concluded from the blood and gut strewn around the crime scene that Garcanes tear their victims to shreds and great delight and muck about in their bloody entrails. What the hell? Garcanes belong to 
a group of creatures known as lesser vampires, they often gather around themselves members of other subspecies of lesser vampires, acting in such situations as leaders of the pack. They are by and large unable to run, but can jump a great distance and often attack their prey in that way. During combat, they usually keep their distance from their foes, trying to incapitate them using a blast of mental energy, provoking visions that beguile and disorientate. Before grappling a Garcane, one should drink the Black Blood Potion and stock up on Vampire Oil. It should also be remembered that the Sanum and Moondust bombs are always effective weapons against mental attacks. Makes sense. Well, there it is. We're done all the codexes once again. Did anything come up in characters, though? Let's look at this. Let's see if anything... No, nothing. Still, Anna Henrietta, still, she's sitting there just waiting for us, friends. When the hell is Geralt going to come and visit me? I know he's supposed to. That sucker. Next episode, we are going to continue on the path over here, which is not that much. I would say that we will probably finish this off next episode, and then we will finally get to this last side, the western side of the map, and then take that out as we go. But like I said, all this stuff, there's Big Game Hunter. That's a quest that we haven't started yet. It's Vermento. Still a bunch of knife for hire. Oh, this is a Skellige deck. This is going to be the last one here. Knife for hire. Big feet to fill. Vermento. Knife for hire. So there's not that many new quests. Father Knows Worst is one. And then we have Big Game Hunter and Father Knows Worst. And that's the only new quest. And then we got the Gwent Tournament. That should be something we do as well. Like I said... We have a good deal of stuff left, too, and I really feel like I want to knock the rest of this stuff out. I think I want to get everything done before we start the main quest again. I don't know when there is a good stopping point in the main quest. This still feels like a good stopping point because I really would just love to get a long slew of main quests to finish this DLC. And I really just want to keep on this path a little bit longer until we get done majority if not all of this before we start the next uh the main stuff but that's an idea and we definitely i feel like we should probably do the gwent tournament too before we do the main stuff but we got a lot of stuff left to look forward to next episode like i said still get on the knife for higher stuff we still have the cat gear over here as well and then that's it we got all the witcher gear armors wow i'm happy that we took out the haunts though that's something that was something completely new that just added stuff to this DLC, friends. The Hans base stuff, the wine stuff. Just really awesome. Little additions to the DLC, though. See, this over here, what's this? Wait. Oh, this is the one. Wait, no. It would be... Where's the one that we visited earlier? He was right here. Oh, it's still going to stay cached. Okay, because I usually, I mean, stuff usually grays out. But it's going to stay cached because it's a merchant. And this is a merchant over here too then. I wonder if we'll have anything going on to talk about. Probably not. Anyways, my friends, I'm out of here. Take it easy. Have a good one. Stay safe. See you next time. Take care.